Welcome to this uh, TOO tutorial. We're going to cover dropping eight weapons uh, on eight different targets using all four stations in the Hornet. I'm going to start by selecting my JSAUs so they start aligning. We can do this with JSAUs or JDAMs. I'm going to select my air to ground master mode and my master arm on. Then I'm going to cycle through each station and change the mode from pre planned to target of opportunity TOO. I'm going to step. TOO, step, TOO, and step. This way all four of my stations, and therefore all, all eight weapons, are in TOO mode. I'm going to set my program to uh, electronic fuse instant. And then I'm going to uh, allow my JSOS to align. In the meantime, I'm going to go to my uh, JSO display and my mission. And here, I'm looking for my terminal parameters. I'm going to set the uh, heading of the weapon, the terminal heading of the weapon, to be undefined. If you're launching due north, this would be a correct setting. This is the default setting. However, if you are approaching from a different uh, direction, you want this to be undefined or specified by you. So don't skip this step as your weapon will actually start turning, therefore reducing uh, maximum effective range. So in this case, I'm going to go to each program in each station, so all eight programs, and I'm going to set these to undefined. So undefined here, TOO, undefined, step, undefined, TOO, undefined, step. And rinse, repeat until all of your station's TOO programs have an undefined heading. This will work in uh, all situations in DCS, except for there is an extremely tall terrain obstacle. I'm going to just uh, skip back to TOO 1. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm doing it so I don't get uh, confused. And I will start at Station 8 because that's the station I remember best. At this point, our weapons are still um, uh, aligning, but uh, we can go ahead and start our designation. I'm going to hop onto our general area here, Waypoint Designate, and then open our flare pod. And we have an airfield here with some targets. We pick the Antonov that I want to destroy first. And at this point, this is my only T, uh, TDC depress of the evening. So I'm going to TDC depress this target. Then I'm going to switch to TO2 on this weapon and just use TDC slew but not depress to pick the next target. At this point, I'm going to step because these are both the stations on uh, both the weapons on this station. So step to the next station. Weapon number one, T001, will pick this target. Weapon number two on T002 will pick this target. Final uh, another step to station three. Slew back around. In this case to this row of plants. T002. And finally, step for the last two targets. I'll take this one. And TO2 for the final one. At this point, I'm going to drop a mark point using my SA page or my S, uh, HSI just by pressing that. This is just so I can quickly return to this uh, field of view. Now, at this point, very importantly, you must undesignate using nose wheel steering. This will, of course, unslew your pod. But uh, that is required. I'm going to start heading for the target. Now, the release sequence is you can pickle off four of the first weapons. I'm going to cycle to station eight. This is my, st my starting station. And I'm going to pickle off four of the weapons. And then I'm going to change to TO1 before each pickle. So, as we're rolling out, in fact, I'm in range already, just double checking the ranges here. I'm well within effective range of my weapons, so we can go X times 1, 2, 3, and 4. Switch to TO1. Pig, TO1 again, pig, TO1 again, pig, 
and TO1 again pig. At this point, I have utilized all of my all of my JSAOs, and I can happily jettison their carriers. That's at this stage. I'm just going to cycle back to my mark point and waypoint designate that to bring me to our known targets here. And uh, at this moment, I'm just going to come off to uh, a safe heading. And perform a BDA from a safe distance away. Just to demonstrate that all the weapons are flying. And as you can see, they're all flying in a nice formation. And will hit the target virtually simultaneously. Just have a quick look here. 